Good evening. Hello, people. Good evening. How are you doing? Great. Good. So, so? Good. Very good. Okay, that's nice. Are you ready for your class? Yes. That's great. Okay, so let's start. Now, today is our class number three, and it's Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. The topic for today's class is the verb to be statements and questions. So today we're going to learn how to use the famous verb to be right okay this is the lesson objective by the end of the class you will learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be statements or sentences and questions yes no questions so before that i need to take the attendance i need to check who is in the class on time so i will mention i will call out your name and you have to tell me present or here. We start with Alejandra Sofia Vasquez. Here. Thank you, Alejandra. Ana del Carmen Sanchez. Thank Ana. <laughs> it's, it's, we don't hear you. You have to turn on your microphone. No, we cannot hear you. Okay, now? Ahora? Yes, now we can hear you. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, we have next is Brian Ismael Claros. Carmen Leonor Trejo. Diego Ismael Siquina. Elvis Giovanni Bonilla Cerritos. Present. Thank you, Elvis. Don't forget to, uh, to put your name. I will, I will change your name. Okay. Uh, next, Jacqueline Vanessa Garcia Sanchez. Present. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jacqueline Carolina Ávila de Quijada. Jenny Lisset Valiente de León. Jenny Valiente. Ahí está, pero quizás no nos escucha. Ah, no escucha. Bueno. Okay, we continue with Jean, pardon, Jessica Virginia Rosales. Jessica? Ah, we don't hear you, Jessica. You have problems. Can you speak now? No se le escucha, quizás tiene problemas con los audífonos. Ahí puede probar el micrófono. Jimmy Flores, José Alejandro, presente, José Osvaldo Reyes, presente, thank you, Crisia Ríos, presente, thank you, Crisia, Lorena de Los Ángeles, presente, thank you, Luis Ernesto Cibrián, presente. 
Luis José Guardado. Manuel Edgardo Martínez. Margarita Beatriz. María José Najarro Mengíbar. Present. Present. Thank you, María José. Marlene de Jesús Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Wilber Alfredo Montoya Ramos. Wilber is not there yet, okay. Uh, Miguel Ángel Meléndez. I'm here. Thank you, Miguel. Mirna Yane Rivas. Present. Thank you, Mirna. Morena Guadalupe Fernández. Um, Natalie Cristina. Thank you, Natalie. Hortensia Stephanie Rivera. Um, Oscar Lee, Hortensia Stephanie, ahí la veo conectada, pero no sé si no se escucha. Oscar Lisandro. Present. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, what about um, Osman Danilo Alarcón? Cynthia Rosibel. Okay, I will mention other names again. Brian Claros. Present. Thank you, Brian. Carmen Leonor. Present. Diego Siquina. Present. Jacqueline Carolina Ávila. Eh, Jimmy Flores. Manuel Edgardo. Wilber Alfredo. Morena Guadalupe. No. Oh, ok. Eh, thank you everyone for being on time. Ok, that's great. Ok, today we're going to start with an activity to practice the alphabet. Yesterday we learned about the alphabet and we spelled some uh, words, some names, last names, middle names. And today we are going to practice some words, to spell words. We are going to ask, how do you spell? For example, how do you spell notebook? N-O-T-E-B-O-O-K. So you say, yes, that's correct. Or if you make a mistake, you say, sorry. Um, if you don't know the word, you can say, sorry, I don't know the word. Lo siento, no sé la palabra. Or can you repeat, please? Okay. Or you can say, that's correct. That's correct. If the word is correct. Yes, you can say, that's, that's correct. So we are going to be working in pairs. <laughs> I, this is my example. I have some words here. You're going to write everybody in this moment, please, in your notebook, write a list, a list of 10 words, okay? 10 words in English. Write in your notebook 10 words in English. Any words you know in English, pencil, computer, teacher, tomato, dog, chicken, a cat, any word you know in English, supermarket, car, a house, school. So let's write, please, in this moment, 10 words in English. Let's write 10 words in English. I'll give you one minute to write a the words, the 10 words. And I will show you my example. I have chicken, people, T, 
teacher, student, pizza, school, book, house, computer, apple. Those my those are my words, but you write your own words, okay? The words you know in English. Ten words you know in English. Diez palabras que ustedes sepan en inglés. Please, you write them in your notebook. Fifteen seconds. A, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's over. Okay, I hope you write the 10 words. So now you will be working in pairs. You work in pairs with, um, in the breakout rooms. So you practice with your classmate, but I will make an example before you go to the rooms. Uh, maybe, Miguel, can you help me, Miguel, please? Okay, Miguel, how do you spell people? People, uh, P-E-O-P-L-E. -E. Yes, that's correct. Okay, now you ask me. Do I, can do you spell pencil? Of course, P E N C I L, pencil. Great. <laughs> okay, so that's how you are going to practice in this moment. So I, you're going to work in pairs in the breakup rooms. Okay. Yes. Let's go. Si viéramos diez palabras. Diez palabras, perdón. Ajá, diez palabras. Y tú me vas a, a pedir que, que, por ejemplo, si, si te puedo deletrear la palabra tal. Y yo te ah, la va. tengo que deletrear y tú me vas a decir si está bien o, o, o si no. Va, yo, solo nosotros dos estaríamos. Sí, solo nosotros dos. Vaya, bueno, ¿quién comienza? Tú. Spell horse. Horse. Yes. Horse. Okay. The H O U R S E. Yes. 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 En las personas no Alejandra, creo que es correcto. Sí. Alejandra. Sí. 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 H okay. uh, A I don't know Q T E no M no okay. K K K K okay. sería C H A Ay, no sé cómo se dice la I, se me ha olvidado. ¿A? ¿A? Ok, entonces no. sería ahí. La I es la I. Se me olvidó. Ay. 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 Ok, sería C, H, I. C. I don't know, remember. K. 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 M. M. 
kasi. <laughs> hello, ignore me. Do you continue? Yeah, hello. Hi. Well, este chico está bien avanzado, pero yo. <laughs> ah, pues, entonces es el que le pregunte. Ajá. Yes, eh, eh, how, how you spell? How you how you spell? Eh, you word. Tus palabras. Sí, eh, puedo yo... entrarme las palabras, las que oh. escribió. Las que escribió. Oh. Sí. La tuya. De... Bueno, escribí. E, 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 X, T, R, I, N, G, E, I, quiero ver, R, I, extranjero, escribí, pero... Me trabo mucho, teacher. <laughs> eh, the pronunciation, what is, sí. what is the pronunciation of the word? La pronunciación de la palabra. <laughs> Extranjero es, pero no te la, no la, me falta. Manuel, Manuel, but that uh -huh. word is Spanish. You uh, write 10 words in English. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. easy words, for example, apple. Can you spell apple? Apple. Yes, apple, and carrot, rabbit, dog, mom, dad, brother, cozy. Oh, mother, can you spell mother? Madre, mother. Yes, mother. Manuel, can you spell mother? Um, madre, uh, de letrear. Yes, mother. Yes. Um, este... O O T L H H H H L E I E R R Yes R Okay, now spell father F H H Yes F A F A T H E R R R R R Okay, great job, Manuel. Continue, continue practicing. You can do it. Thank you, me. You're welcome. Okay. How do you feel? Computer. So, uh, C O N P U Hello, continue, continue practicing. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, repeat, please. How do you spell grape? Como uva. Great. 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 I don't remember. Great. Ah, ah, okay. Okay, grab it. G R I B E it, it is okay. Great. G Great. G R I A A A A A perdón A B E Yes, that's correct. Okay. Okay. And 
how uh, Mirna, how do you spell um, teacher? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Continue practicing. Jenny and Brian. Yay. Okay. Sí, sí. Uh, Why Jenny. did you turn off your camera? <laughs> <laughs> Es que mira, ando despeinado, ¿eh? No, hombre, yo ni me había... Okay. Yo allá en el punto me estaba fijando, mire. Vaya, ok, ok, ok. Jenny, eh, <risa> how do you spell wallet? Hola, hola, Jenny. ¿Es W o G? Eh, sí, wallet. W. 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 Wallet. W-A-L. ¿Cuál? ¿Qué me? Wallet. Wallet. Creo que es billetera. W-A-L. L. L. U. No. A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. Y. Y. It's T. W A L L E T. Wallet. La T. Okay, okay, that's going? correct. <laughs> okay, we need to go back to the main session, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, no sé qué. Okay, can you tell me how was this exercise? How was this practice from one to five? Five easy and one very difficult. Can you show me how was this practice for you? From one to five. Five easy teacher. One difficult for me. Can you show me with your hands? Maybe two, three, four. Okay, Jessica says three. Three. Okay. Three. And Brian. <laughs> Chris said two. Difficult. Three. Okay, it's in the middle. <laughs> Nobody says five? Oh, Diego says five. And Jacqueline. Okay. Thank you. Good. So that's why we need to... I mean, practice and practice, and practice. That is the, the only way um, eh, you can do it. I mean, the way you can do it better is by practicing every day, practicing every day. So it's important, right? Because even something very basic like the alphabet, we can forget if we don't practice. So it's important to practice. Well, we continue with the next activity. This uh, topic is the bird to be. It's very popular, the bird to be, right? We learned the bird to be in the school, but it's important to um, understand this. So we are going to study the affirmative form, negative and question form. Uh, the bird to be is this. And you know, we have the three forms, am, is, and are. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, and they are. These are the full forms. But we also have the contractive or short forms. I am. Um, you are, your, he is, his, she is, she's, it is, it's, we are, we're, you are, your, they are, their. Okay. In the negative form, the only, the only thing we do is to add not. Solo le ponemos el not. 
I am not, you are not, he is not, she is not, it is not, we are not, you are not, and they are not. In the contracted form, we have I'm not, you aren't, he isn't, she isn't, it isn't, we aren't, you aren't, they aren't. Okay, so these are the forms of the verb to be. And for the questions, we only change the position. Okay, I say I am, in question, am I? You are, but in question, are you? Is he? Is she? Is it? Are we? Are you? Are they? Miguel, what is your question? Uh, sorry, in the primera, donde dice, uh, I'm not, I'm not, es el primero que la, 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 lo que se encontrar, ajá, exactamente, esa parte, lo, es lo único que no se une con el not, con el negativo. Sí, exactly. Y además el verbo si lo une. Sí, en las otras sí se puede, pero en I am, esta es la única forma en que se puede hacer. I'm not. No. Sí, esta sí no, es la única. De ahí las otras, por ejemplo, puede ser you're not, he's not, she's not, it's not, we're not, you're not, they're not. Or like this, you aren't, he isn't, it isn't, we aren't, you aren't. Uh, buena observación, gracias, Miguel. Sí, no, en I'm um, not, esa es la única forma contractada. ¿Crisia? Pero, o sea, realmente, en, si nosotros quisiéramos, digamos, you are not, si se puede. Sí. No habría ningún problema. ¿No? Gracias. Es solo de I am not, or I'm not. Esas son las únicas dos formas. Pero esas, digamos, esas hay dos formas contractadas. You aren't or you're not. He's not or he isn't. ¿Mm? Ok. Bueno. Me voy a preguntar a alguien. Vamos a ver. Manuel Martínez. Este, ¿cómo se dice él en inglés? Aquí está, en una de estas está. O como digo yo. He, él. He, muy bien, very good, he, él. Ok, thank you. José Alejandro. How do I say nosotros in English? We. We, yes, very nice. Okay, Luis Galdames. How do I say ella in English? She, she. yes, that's correct. Okay, um, Alejandra Sofia. How do I say ustedes? Ustedes in English. They. Ah, ustedes es. They es, es ellos. Ellos. Ustedes yeah, yeah. es you. You. Uh. You. Ajá, es igual. Por eso está dos veces. You en singular, tú o usted. Uh -huh. Y en plural, ustedes. Sería your. Pero no se, no se agrega la, la IR al final. No va. Es igual. You are, you are, or your. Your. Uh, okay. okay. Um, how do you say esto? Ana del Carmen. Por los labios la <laughs> Ajá. ¿Cuál me digo? Perdón. Para una cosa o un animal. Ah, ok. 
Eh, it's it, yes, it's correct. Okay, entonces tenemos I, yo, you, tú, he, él, she, ella, it, esto, we, nosotros, you, ustedes, they, ellos o ellas. Okay, I am, yo soy o yo estoy, y depende del, de la siguiente palabra, así va a ser la, el sentido o la interpretación. You are, ustedes, o tú eres, o tú estás. He is, él es, o él está. She is, ella es, o ella está. O ella tiene, en el caso de la edad. Okay, and so on. You will see the example in the next slide. This is Frank. And, el, and he says, I am Frank. I am not happy. I am an architect. My brother is a dentist and my sister is a secretary. I am not single, so he's married. I am from London. I am English. My favorite sports are tennis and golf. So he is using the verb to be to talk about himself, to give his information. For example, his name, his feelings, his occupation, family information, his marital status, where he's from, and his favorite sports. So we use to be, or the verb to be, in present to talk about names, professions, nationalities, age, la edad, feelings, emociones, estados, sentimientos, marital status, estado civil. So we use the verb to be to, to say these things in English. We have more examples over here. I am Sarah and he is Jake. John is Tyra. He is in the bathroom. She's very young. She's only 12. It's two in the morning. It's very cold. You are from Italy. You're Italian. The cars are in the garage. Jim and I are classmates. Okay? Miren, aquí en vez de usar he, usamos el nombre. John is Titan. Mm -hmm. um, the cars. También se puede decir, they are in the garage. Si yo pregunto, ¿dónde están los carros? Where are the cars? They are in the garage. Como ya sé que estoy hablando de los carros, puedo usar el pronombre they. ¿Sí? Ok. And again, we have the short form and the full form. Ok. So, for example... I will ask some questions, okay? Um, Leonor, what's your first name? His name. My name is Carmen. Okay, my first name is Carmen. Okay, very nice, thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, Diego? What's your occupation or what do you do, Diego? Uh, I am student. Okay, very nice. So you're using I am. Maria Jose Navarro. Are you married? Are you married? I am, I am not married. Excellent. Okay. Another, <laughs> okay, another question. Let me see. Mirna Yonet, where are you from? Where are you from? I am from El Salvador. Okay, great. That's a beautiful country. <laughs> okay, um, let me see. Elvis Giovanni, what are your favorite colors? Uh, red. The color favorite is red. Okay, you say my favorite colors are or is red. Only one? 
only one. No, uh, have a other. This maybe a black. Okay, so my favorite colors are red and black. Red and black. And black yes. Yes. Good. Uh, Crisia Rios. How old are you? How old are you? I um, am 28. 28. Okay. So you say, I am. I am 20. I am 28 years old. Excellent, Crisia. So this is different, like in Spanish, because in Spanish we say, Tengo 28. But in English, we use the verb to be. Usamos el verbo to be. Decimos, I am 28. Or I am 25. Okay? Or he is 50 years old. Good. So, um, let's look at these uh, exercises. You have to write the correct form of the verb to be. And I would like you to do it in your notebook and we can complete together. So let's say, what is the number one? What is the correct form? Sara? Is my is, best. Is my is best friend. Sara is, Sara is my best friend. Good. Adam and John are teacher. 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 Our teachers because we have two. It's, it's plural. Adam and John. Okay, she is We are students. They are, 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 are doctors. Number six, it is and orange. Seven, Abraham and I are I am our brother. He is, right? He is a nice person. Number nine, it is. Copy. It is a copybook. It is a copybook. Ten, you are, are a dentist. A dentist. Are a dentist. Nice. Let's a dentist. rearrange the sentence. What is the correct uh, order? I am not a student. I am not a student. He is my brother. He is my brother. Happy. He's my brother. He's my brother. They are the girls. Are the girls, girls are beautiful. Are beautiful. They are the beautiful girls. They are beautiful. Are beautiful. The girls are beautiful. Okay, number four. Lara is in the garden. We are not We are not sad. My father is my happy. Father my is father. happy. My father is happy. Okay. My mother is a housewife. Is mama de casa. Okay. House. Is that yes. not my cousin? My is not my cousin. My. She is my. She is not my cousin. Not my cousin. She is not my cousin. Ada is my cousin. Ada is intelligent. 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 Ada is friendly. Is friendly. The cat is friendly. Okay, so as you know, this this has an structure. Tiene una estructura, un orden. Es el sujeto, el verbo y el complemento. Bien, okay. 
Va primero el sujeto, subject, luego el verbo to be, verb to be, y then complement. Uh -huh. Subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. For example, I... Yeah, your teacher. Oh. Okay. Subject bird complement. Subject bird complement. Don't forget that. Siempre que habla, vamos a, vayamos a hablar en inglés, siempre vamos a hablar primero del sujeto. Así es la estructura, siempre. Presente, pasado, futuro, siempre vamos a hablar del sujeto primero. Um, en español es diferente. <risa> Hablamos de una forma muy peculiar. <risa> Pero en inglés esa es la estructura, ¿ok? Good. Do you have any questions so far? Or so far so good. Hasta ahorita todo bien. Decimos so far so good, teacher. So far so good. So far so good. So far so good. So far so far so good. I like your accent. Okay. So we continue. Oh, but I need to do something before. Okay, so here we have the questions. The structure is the verb to be, the subject, and the complement. Aquí solo le cambiamos el orden al verbo. El verbo va primero, luego va el sujeto, y luego va el complemento. And we have the questions, for example, number one. Is, miren, aquí va el is primero, luego el sujeto. Is he a teacher? No, he's not. He's a doctor. Okay, number two. Is it an elephant? No, it's not. It is an elephant. Ah, no, it isn't exactly. No, it is not. Exactly. Number three. Is it a computer? Yes. Yes. yes, it is. It is. Ah, y cuando respondemos, usamos el sujeto primero. It is. It is. Yes, it is. Are they students? Yes, they are. Yes, yes. 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 they are. Yes, they are. Yes. Yes. Very nice. Number five, is he in the park? No, no, he is not. No, he is not. Or no, he is not. He is classroom. He is in the classroom. Yes, he's very responsible. He to the class. Okay, number six. Is he a dentist? No, he is not. 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 He is a. A soccer player. Okay, number seven, are they books? Yes, they are. 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 Okay, number eight, is Tom in the kitchen? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes. yes. Excellent, congratulations. So, today we practice the affirmative and questions with the verb to be. Mm -hmm. You can take a screenshot to save it in a study, but you also have information in the platform about it. Okay, so now I go to the next slide and in the next slide is practice time. Okay. You are going to do something similar to what we did with Frank. Do you remember Frank? 
Okay, so this is my example. This is me. Pein, medio peinada. Okay, this is me. And he is my husband. Okay, so you're going to do something similar on a complete page. You draw yourself in the middle. Or you can do it in your computer in a PowerPoint presentation. You can do it. You can put a picture. I know now we take selfies very often. So don't tell me I don't have a picture because you do have a picture. Okay. So you can say, in, this is my example. I'm Rocio. I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. Tengo sueño. I'm sleepy at this moment. I'm a teacher of English. My favorite colors are red, blue, and pink. I'm married. He is my husband, Eduardo. His name is Eduardo. I'm from San Salvador. I'm Salvadorian. And I'm 29 years old. Okay, my husband is an employee and he is an optimistic person. As you notice, I'm using the verb to be, right? in the correct form to give my personal information. So now you have to do it, okay? Ahora usted lo va a hacer así. About your information. Crisia, Elvis, Luis, Jessica, Marlene, Ana del Carmen, Jacqueline, okay? So you are going to do it. So you have 10 minutes to work on this. Si lo hace en su cuaderno, hace un dibujito. Si lo hace en su computadora, puede poner una foto. You can put a picture. Crisia. Y si no estoy en mi casa, soltera. Ok. 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 Mi casada ni soltera. ¿Y eso qué significa? Está bueno, comprometida, que ya se va a casar, engaged. No. Está en una relación... You can say, I am in a relationship. I am in a relationship. Estoy en una relación o tengo una relación. I'm in a relationship. Está enamorado. I am in love. Okay. Se está divorza, divorciado, divorciada. I am divorced. Okay. Se está soltera. I am single. I'm a single lady. <ríe> si quiere decir tengo novia o tengo novia o novio. Ahí. Pero ahí ya no estaríamos usando el verbo to be. Pero bien, lo voy a decir como se dice. I have a boyfriend. Tengo novio. I have a girlfriend. Tengo novia. Uh -huh. Or you can say, I have a crush. Yes. Alejandro se ríe, José Alejandro. Uh -huh. Por algo será. <laughs> Ok. Si quiere decir cómo se siente, por ejemplo, me siento cansado. I'm tired. Es cansado. Oops. Cansado o cansada. I'm tired or... I'm happy, I'm sleepy, como yo, um, I'm hungry, tengo hambre, I'm hungry, estoy enferma, I'm sick, I'm great, me siento genial, me siento super bien, I'm great. Or I'm enthusiastic, estoy entusiasmada, enthusiastic. Or I'm excited because this is a very nice class. 
emocionado o emocionada. ¿Ok? Okay, can you tell me if you are hungry? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Do you want some pupusas or some beans with plantain? Are you hungry? No? Do you have dinner before the class? Antes de la clase, do you eat before the class? Yes. 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 No. <laughs> oh, Jenny, I'm sorry. But the class is about to finish. Don't worry. Let's see who is married. Who is married in the class? You. <laughs> Only me? I don't think so. Oh, Miguel. Miguel is married. Okay. He's very honest. Very honest. <laughs> I am single forever. Oh, Brian. <laughs> forever alone, Brian. <laughs> yes, yes. Just kidding, Brian. Okay, well... If you feel good in that state, it's okay. It's good. Nothing happens. What are your favorite colors? You can put favorite colors or favorite food or favorite sports or favorite cartoons, favorite, I don't know, your favorite kind of music. Okay, very nice. Jacqueline just sent her homework, um, her work. Um, Jacqueline, I'm in the bathroom, I'm an employee. My favorite colors are green, gray, and white. Interesting, I'm married. He's my husband, Ernesto, oh, so cute. I'm Francois Zanate, I'm Salvadorian. And I'm 32 years old, we have a little boy, he's eight months old. Great job, Jacqueline. I don't know which Jacqueline, because we have Two, I think, two Jacqueline's. Says Jacqueline Vanessa or Jacqueline Avila. Who sent the work? Can love you, Jacqueline Avila or Jacqueline Garcia? Creo. Oh, okay. Eh, when we... Para decir, este, niñera. Babysitter? Niñera, babysitter. Okay. Yes, okay, we have another one. I'm Lisandro, I'm tired, I'm a lawyer and notary. My favorite colors are white and blue. I'm married, she's my husband. Grisia, no, wife. Esposa is wife, okay. <laughs> wife, esposa. 
husband, husband is esposo. Okay, so you have to fix that, Lisandro. Okay. Y así es como aprendemos, así es como aprendemos, equivocándonos y practicando. I'm from San Salvador, El Salvador, and I'm 28 years old. My, host, my wife is a nurse. She's a happy person, ¿ok? Ok, aquí Roquito mandó algo, vamos a ver. I'm Natalie, I'm a nurse. I have a dog. He's very crazy. It's my happiness. Eh, my favorite food is the pizza from Marion. He's my favorite person in the world. He is Elias. I'm 25 years old. <laughs> in the world. Ahí solo le faltó la L. Word, Natalie. Y... Nice, Janet. Oh, she has a cat and two parrots. Okay, we have another one. Good, I like it. I love it. I'm Manuel. I'm hungry. I'm a date as you sir. Oh, Manuel, but you are going to eat after the class. Don't worry. My favorite colors are black. My favorite color is black. Porque solo es uno. Is black. Um, okay. I'm with Jensi. Joanna Aguilera. Jensi. Oh, Jensi. I'm from Aguachapan. I'm four years old. Okay. I'm Marlene. I'm a lawyer. Abogada se dice lawyer. ¿Ok? Very nice. <laughs> I like it. Thank you guys for, for doing it. Ahora me gustaría, ¿quién le gustaría decirlo? Presentarlo en frente de la clase, in front of the class. Ok, ok, go, go ahead. Si gusta, le permito compartir pantalla. Ah, pero es que solo es una foto. Ah, que le to... Ajá, estoy de teléfono. O se puede, ¿verdad? Solo le doy vuelta. Se ve. Yes. Yes. Hello, my name. I am Mirna Rivas. I am a student. My favorite color are black and blue. I am El Salvador. I have a relationship. I am 32 years old. I am organized. I have a cat and two parrots. An applause for Janet, please. <laughs> okay, very good, Mirna. Very nice. Thank you for sharing. And um, the pronunciation of organized, organized, okay? Uh, okay, another volunteer. Luis, Cibriel? Okay, uh, I am, uh, you listen, see, sí, yes. Yes, we can listen to you. Okay, I am Luis. I am relationship. Uh, my favorite color are is, is blue. And I am from La Libertad. I am a student. I am 34 years old. My favorite food is fish. My favorite music is electronic. Only, only that. Yes, very good. You see, guys, you, you speak English already. Okay. So, I'm so happy with your work. Did you like it? Did you like the, the activity? Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
Very nice. I would love to hear everybody, but we don't have time to listen to everybody, but we can see the different information in the pictures that you shared. Great. Okay, I'm going to send you this. I will send you this link so you can uh, complete. This is going to be the homework. And that's it. It's already nine o'clock. It's time to say goodbye. But before, can you please tell me what you learned in today's class? ¿Qué aprendiste hoy en clase? What did you learn today? Puede decir, I learned. Yo aprendí. I learned. Ay, espérame, que me comí la L. I learned. Y usted menciona lo que aprendió. Palabras nuevas, new, new words, new vocabulary. I learned a new pronunciation, a new vocabulary, and a grammar, and listening. Excellent, Diego. Yes, we practice the alphabet. We learn new words. For example, how do you say, um, um, estoy comprometida? I'm engaged. Okay. How do you say, tengo hambre? I'm hungry. I am hungry. How do you say, tengo sueño? I'm sleepy. How do you say, estoy cansada? I am tired. I am tired. Okay, great. And yes, grammar, like the bird to be, Affirmative, negative, and questions. Eh, vi que estaban hoy hablando sobre la plataforma y ahí, después de ver el video, la persona del video les pone a veces un ejercicio que es el que pueden escribir en el foro. Y ahí pueden practicar, ahí pueden hacerlo. Pueden escribir, ¿verdad? Y entre más usted practique, pues el beneficio es para usted. No lo vea como, ay, tanta tarea, no. El beneficio es para usted, ¿ok? Así que, nomás eso. Y igual, eh, no sé si ya todos avanzaron en las dos, sec en las secciones de la plataforma. No. Entonces. En mi, en mi caso, no. Solo ah, la sección 2 me falta. Ok. Sí, en cuanto a eso, como... Eh, se hace un, se um, audita, ¿verdad? Se, el el SAFOR ve el progreso, cada, se hace un reporte cada semana. Entonces sí, eh, y la clase todavía tenemos clase viernes en la noche, entonces sí eh, requerirá de su parte, ¿verdad? Algunos ejercicios, tener que verlos antes de la clase. Pero igual si tiene alguna duda puede preguntar en el chat o me puede escribir directamente o lo vemos aquí en la clase. Pero sí me interesaría que vayan avanzando en la plataforma porque es lo que va a hacer que usted pueda pasar el módulo. Y eso me interesa más que avance, ¿ok? Luego puede seguir con las otras tareas que le he puesto. Manuel, pregunta. Sí, teacher. El problema es de que quizá yo por eso estoy un poco quedado también con, con en el avance acá porque tuve un problema con la plataforma. Desde el primer día yo se lo comuniqué que no la podía abrir. E incluso estuvieron toda la semana tratando de, de, de ver si me lo podían este, generar una nueva, un nuevo correo, no sé cómo ir, pero no pudieron. Entonces, hasta el día de ahora me pudieron este, crear un nuevo correo y hasta ahora pude ingresar yo a la plataforma. Y bueno, y, y eso que fue en, en transcurso de como a las 12 del día, yo estaba en mi trabajo. Eh, como le comentaba a un muchacho ahí yo, de que este, solo pude ver medio, hoy que yo vine a la casa, medio pude ver algunas cosas de la plataforma, porque toda la semana no tuve acceso yo a ella, e incluso me dijeron de que me iban a ayudar a resolverla, pero eso no, 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 no tiene sentido para mí, porque lo que me interesa es verla a mí, ¿verdad? Pero sí estoy atrasado con eso, porque no la había podido habilitar hasta el día de ahora que me la habilitaron. Okay. Understand. Ok. Bueno, en su caso es una excepción, pero sí, igual se puede avanzar hoy por la noche después uh -huh. de la Marlene. 
Sí, buenas noches. Este, en mi caso igual me costó este, eh, que, meterme en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Pero eh, lo que le quería preguntar es en cuanto a las secciones. ¿Cada sección es para cada semana? ¿O tenemos que contestar las cuatro secciones que están allá, ahí en la plataforma? No, el lunes les explicaba que para esta semana era la sección 1 y la sección 2. La primera semana es como la más larga porque tienen que contestar ambas secciones, 1 y 2. La otra semana vamos a contestar ahí en la sección 3 y el midterm. Y en la semana 3, la sección 4. Y en la última semana, la sección, la última sección. ¿Ok? Pero esta semana es la sección 1 y 2. ¿Alguien más sabía la parte? ¿Miguel? ¿Hasta qué hora tenemos para lo de la sección 2 de la para subir a la plataforma? Porque en mi caso voy avanzado con la sección 2, pero no es gran cantidad. Entonces, no sé hasta qué horas tengo para, o hasta cuándo tengo para subir toda la, la sección 2. Sí, creo que aún durante la mañana, de mañana. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Thank you, Miss. Y alguien más levantó la mano. Sí, yo quería saber lo mismo. Hasta okay. cuándo tenía para, para, para estar ya al día. Porque igual me falta de la sección 2. Sí, bueno, hoy les escribieron que hoy iban a estar actualizando sus notas. Pero, bueno, en el caso eso fue a la una de la tarde. Esperemos, si ustedes avanzan ahorita, que en la mañana puedan hacerles una actualización. Esperemos, ¿verdad? Porque es comprensible que, que es el primer módulo y se están familiarizando con la plataforma. ¿verdad? Así es que, pues sí, todavía tienen ahorita tiempito para que puedan. Aún no han terminado la semana. Uh -huh. Marlene tenía ya. otra pregunta. No, solo dejo levantada la mano. No, no. Quizá la dejé levantada. Ok, guys, so I hope to see you tomorrow. We have class tomorrow at So, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you. Good night. 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 Good night.